Hey guys, so I have a little close up here of Jace, and I've been quite busy. There's a lot going on, and um, so I've just decided that when I'm busy, I don't make a video. I, you know, take the day, and I don't try to just come up with something on the fly, and I just have stuff to talk about, and when I have stuff to talk about, I like to come on. So, I had something really interesting. Let me zoom out here real quick so I you know I all did the um, ancestry DNA thing and it kinda got cross-matched because of course I tagged ancestry DNA you know because um, that's who I did it through is the testing the genetic testing and I gave my results of course on my channel which is a reborn doll channel which I kind of need to explain what a reborn baby is to some of those because I've got some new people watching that don't understand it. Um, they're basically art babies. Um, they are dolls. And they're very realistic dolls. I had somebody, um, when I had Opal on when I was doing that Ancestry video, thought she was a real baby. And then they checked out some of my other videos. But one of the comments that I got today, which me and my husband kind of laughed about, was on my Ancestry DNA video, and they don't know my story, they don't know my background, they don't understand what um, these babies are, so you got to kind of forgive them. But somebody said, well, you're 100% creepy. So, <laughs> you know, I guess if you're watching an Ancestry DNA video... And you come across a lady changing a doll's clothes, which is what we do to show our babies. And, you know, it's a community of people that collect these dolls. And, yes, we do change them. Yes, it's therapeutic. Um, I've taken them to my psychiatrist, and there's nothing wrong with having these dolls and, you know, interacting with them. So it's something that's more common than you might think um so i just wanted to come on and share that with y'all that yes they're dolls um yes i wish it was a real baby and just to give you a little background i cannot have real babies since the i couldn't since the age of 25 due to a late stage cancer which they had to do a complete hysterectomy and everything and then I um, got another cancer, and just everything was obliterated when it comes to the female body parts. So um, this was another option. I came across one on eBay. I was intrigued, to say the least, because I was mourning my loss of the, the ability to have children. That's all I ever wanted to do. And so when I came across these realistic dolls, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's the closest thing I can have to having a baby. Um, we've tried the adoption route, and because of my history with illness, um, it's not looking like that's a good option. And it's not fair to the child, because you never know what's going to happen. So... Um, I wouldn't, I just don't think it's fair to bring a child into that situation. So yes, these are fake babies. And I love them. And there's a lot of people out there that love them. They're pieces of art. They're layer after layer of paint and all kinds of stuff. I can't even begin to tell you the work that goes into these babies to make them look realistic. So that's a little background for y'all, just a little quick one. Um, if you watch my videos, the earlier videos, you can find out more about me there. But and I also have an Instagram where I share my babies on there as well. And that's, you know, the Reborn community on Instagram as well as on YouTube. So that just kind of, just to explain it a little bit, I thought I would get it out there. So I hope y'all are all doing great. Um, take care. God bless. Love you all. And we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.